Okay, so this is going to be a demo video for uh, embedding album art with Winamp. Now, I'm going to show you two files in my current playlist. And as you can see, there's no art in either of these files. And let's uh, let's go have some fun. Now I've got art for that file. And by the way, both of these files are in this folder. Both of them. Blam. That one and that one. So, and we want to put art, let's say we want to put art on this one. Well, I have my some art in here. Bitmap, I don't want that. There we go, see, there's uh, art, some cover art. So we have, uh, you can right click on a file, click View File Info, and then go to the Artwork tab, or you can just go, you can select the item from the Playlist Editor and hit Alt 3. All right, so we have our ability to add art. So let's go ahead and do that. And we have added art to our media. Now there is one drawback, and others would consider it a plus. Um, as you can see here, when I added that art to the file, it put uh, art in the uh, same directory as the uh, file that we're adding art to. So as you can see, it's uh, got the artwork in it now. And I'll close re I'll close one app and reopen it so you can see it. That it's persistent, of course. Right, artwork. Now, there's, uh, there's an advantage for WinApp doing this, putting a separate file in the same folder as your music is. Because people typically will typically will uh, organize their music. Uh, into subdirectories and folders like you see here. Um, we're going to organize the music into separate folders depending by album and artist and so on, just like I do have for some of the music here. See, I got a bunch of Jonathan Colton music in one folder and a Paul and Swarm with just one piece in it. And so you got uh, some of my stuff in a separate folder. And of course, Uh, but some stuff you just don't have albums for. They're just single pieces of music. Now, the, the obvious advantage to storing the artwork in the folder is you only have one piece of artwork that covers the entire album, your folder, and uh, of course that saves a lot of memory, at least as far as file size for the individual pieces of media. But of course this doesn't always work very well in all cases. Like for example, we have some singles here that are all in the same folder with other singles. And of course you're not going to do that normally, but it's yeah, it can happen. So what happens here is media that doesn't have embedded art in it ends up getting the same cover art that it's not supposed to get just by dint of being in the same folder as a different piece of music that you uh, selected. So let's see what happens when I try to do certain stuff. Uh, let's just take a screenshot and uh, set the uh, piece to artwork. So as you can see here, I took a screenshot of the, uh, of the uh, little folder folder view here and it's in there but you'll notice that it didn't make a new file and so now you have a problem 
the artwork you set before went bye bye it's been replaced with artwork from un un unrelated pieces of media so there is one slight disadvantage to doing it this way so I'm going to delete that and but there's a way around it you can uh, stop this behavior by uh, fairly easily by using one of my plugins that you can download from the WinApp forums Come on. So here's the latest version. You can find the link to the latest version usually in the SIG. And if I ever do decide to, I'll uh, I can also put it in the uh, the, the plugins page. But for now, it's just in the forms. So I'm install it. I've already got one app running, so I don't want to. Oh, maybe I don't. Okay. Alright, so now that we've got my plugin installed, the default viewing behavior of WinApp will not change with my plugin install. Everything will be the same. The only thing that will be different is when you set the album art and you want to set it as an embed. So let's uh, let's embed some art. So we go over here to our playlist entry. Here we go, view file info hit the artwork tab first thing we want to do is hit this little guy here and we hit cover embed cover embed and see it's come over here and what's now we can load artwork S. We hit open. Hit OK. And as you can see, WinAmp modified the file. You saw it flicker just now. And well, in case you didn't, I saw it flicker. But in case, the video might be slow, so you might not have seen it. But I, I saw it just now that it just. You know, it flickered a bit, indicating to me that it had actually modified the file, I embedding the image into the file itself. And of course, blam out. So you don't see that cover, that cover file here anymore, but it's now embedded in the media, media file itself. And the way to uh, double verify that is you hit, of course, check the art for another file that doesn't have any anything embedded in it in the same folder and of course unlike before in the earlier in the video now we have you know an appropriately blank blank album art cover inside WinApp for that particular piece of media so let's uh, do that thing again that we did before with pasting artwork except this time we embed it paste artwork, hit OK, soft flicker again, blam. So 
So there's uh, embedding artwork, or actually setting cover art for your music, and optionally, if you install a plugin, embedding artwork in the music itself. All right, that's it.